The reality is there is tremendous damage being done to many groups of people in this country by all of these restrictions and what we've done to our life and the freedoms that we've taken away. You're seeing what's happening to your kids in school. Even though you can go to a concert with 10,000 people, your kid's wearing a mask all day long thanks to a teacher's union that's out of control. You're seeing what's happening to poor communities and most certainly communities of color when you start restricting people because they are not vaccinated. Maj Ture is the founder of Black Guns Matter, and he joins us now to talk about this. Maj, it's good to see you again on the show. You live in, in Philadelphia, and just yesterday, city officials in your town announcing their own vaccine mandate. you got to have proof of vaccination to enter any bar or restaurant, and that begins on January 3. We know from the numbers that these mandates hit the black community the hardest, don't they? Yeah, we know that, and so do the Democratic uh, so-called leadership in Philadelphia. They know this tr tremendously. They know the data. They know that Philadelphia is 60, 70 percent black and brown, but yet and still they'll implement policies that are, you know, very draconian or, or Jim Crow like. You know, this 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 scenario right here, we're seeing exactly what Democrats have been since their inception in this American, you know, experiment. Racist. I mean, it's just what it is. It's segregationist. It's racist. It's a violation of medical privacy. And uh, we, we won't pretty much allow it. We're going to organize to make sure that every single business that is currently, because some are asking now, hey, tell us your private medical history. To, you know, if not, you can sit outside. You can be the other, the unclean. So we're not supporting those businesses. We're going to highlight them. We're going to put all of the folks, the businesses that want, you know, the dollars to actually start circulating in the community and rebuilding our economy. Right. We'll highlight those actual businesses in Philadelphia. But these these leaders, you know, they're showing a true colors. They mean exactly who they was the entire time. According to the Pennsylvania Department of Health, only 11 percent of African-Americans in Philadelphia are fully vaccinated, with 3 percent being partially vaccinated. Why do you think that is? The Skeegee syphilis experiments, medical apartheid is a great book. Everybody should read it. And just the fact that, you know, to say the least, and again, I, I want to be very balanced here. We got to talk about American history, but yep. we also got to talk about the positive things that have come out of America. With that being the case, people have a reason to not trust local, state, and federal government. And we as Americans have a right to say no thank you. Clearly, Fauci's been lying from the very beginning. The black community has every single reason, you know, in, in the world to be very skeptical. And on top of that, we have a right to say, no, thank you. We choose not. If this was really about health, OK, why can't we talk about maybe the antibodies people have gotten from natural immunity? We've got tons of studies that show that that's actually more robust, lasts longer, and is much more positively impacting the community in that regard. So we got a reason to be skeptical. Um, and even if we're not skeptical, we also, as Elon Musk said, we have the right to make that decision and not right. be forced. But again, we go into Democrats who like to... Let's just force the blacks to do exactly what we want them to do. Yeah. And, and in this case, everybody, uh, if we're going to be honest, it's, it's the whole country. It's, if, if you look at this, this story that, that's, that's evolving right now with Omicron, that 79 percent of the people that have it are vaccinated. I mean, that's, that's got to change a lot of minds. I mean, that's, that, that's got to make people say, huh, maybe we don't know everything that we thought we knew about this. And maybe... It certainly, to me, says maybe vaccine mandates ain't the way at all, because if if it's obviously spreading amongst the vaccinated, if the vaccinated are obviously getting it, why in the hell are they mandating people to get vaccinated? Because this never was about health. Fauci is the same guy that presided over a bunch of people dying with, in the HIV and AIDS crisis in the 80s. This was yeah. never about health. Democrats want to utilize this in areas where there's densest population, because this is about population control. This is about voting control. They used this for the last two years. Slow to spread, they said, 14 days. Here we are almost two years later. This was never about health and wellness, because if it was, a lot of the obese, uh, 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 greasy food eating people that don't go to the gym, <laughs> they would have actually talked about lifestyle change. Yeah. But that's not the case. This is about control, simple and plain. It's very our true. communities must resist. It's very true. You know, I, I talk to doctors all the time. They say these 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 COVID wards, it's it's overweight and smokers. That's what they see everywhere. And nobody has that conversation. Let's get healthy. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's, it's just it's mandate, even if it doesn't make sense. Maj Ture, it's always an interesting conversation. Thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you. Same here.